Welcome to our lecture online. And now for something a little bit more challenging dealing with percentages. The problem reads as follows. A $40 shirt is on sale for 25% off. Kathy has a coupon for an additional 30% off the sale price. Then we ask, what is the final sale price? And what is the total percentage reduction of the original price or in the original price? All right, we're going to start by saying let x equal something. So what should we let x equal? Well, we already know the original price. We simply don't know the sale price, the original sale price. So let x equal the original sale price. All right, so now we can figure out what x is equal to. That would be the first step. And then we can calculate the final sale price. So that's kind of the strategy. So we need to come up with an equation for the original sale price. Is equal to the original price minus the discount. There we go. All right. Well, the original sale price is represented by x. So x is equal to the original price, which is known. That was a $40 shirt, so that's 40 minus the discount. Now, the discount would be 25% of the $40. So it's 25% of the $40. So when we write that mathematically, we can say x is equal to 40 minus 25% times $40, because when we write 25% of, that's the same as the multiplication. And then, of course, we want to write that as a decimal. So x equals 40 minus 0 0.25 times 40. To get rid of the decimal, we can either multiply by 100 or we can actually multiply by 4 since there's only one decimal point and 4 times 0.25 gives us 1. So we multiply both sides of the equation by 4. We get 4x is equal to 160 minus 1 times 40. And that means 4x is equal to 120, divide both sides by 4, and we get x is equal to 30. And since x was representative of the original sale price, we can say that this is therefore equal to $30. Now they tell us that we have a coupon for an additional 30% off. What is the final sale price? <clears throat> so now what we can do is we can go ahead and we're going to solve the problem again. So this is now done. We're now going to say let x equal the final sale price. And now again we need an equation. So we can say that the final price is equal to the original sale price minus the next discount. So the final price is defined as x is equal to the original sale price, which was 30, minus the discount, which is 30% of the original sale price, which is 30. So we're getting an additional 30% off the original sale price. And that's the discount subtract from the original sale price that gives us the final price or the final sale price. So x is equal to 30 minus 0 0.30 multiplied times 30. <clears throat> so now we want to get rid of the decimal. We can do that by multiplying by 10 because 0 0.30 is the same as 0 0.3. So I multiply both sides by 10. I get rid of the decimal. So this gives me 10x is equal to 300 minus 0.3, that would be, that now would become 3 times 30. Okay, I can go ahead and finish it off by saying 10x is equal to 300 minus 90, or 10x is equal to 210, divide both sides by 10, and we get x is equal to 21. Now, since we had defined x here is the final sale price, therefore the final sale price is equal to $21. Now we want to know the total percent reduction in the original price. So we know that the original price was equal to $40. The final price 
was equal to $21. The total discount is equal to $19. So if we divide the total discount by the original price, we get in percent the total discount. So we take $19, which is the discount, and divide it by the original price, which is $40. That gives us, again, we'll write it out. This is the total discount divided by the original price. And that would be equal to 19 divided by 40. So how do you turn that into a percent? Well, percent should always be over 100. So if you can see here, the denominator 40, if we want to multiply that times 2.5, that gives us 100. So what we're going to do here is multiply the denominator by 2.5. And of course, we must do the same to the numerator, 2.5. And that gives us 100 in the denominator, and in the numerator, 2.5, that's, let's see, that's uh, 38, and half of that, that would be 9.5, that would be 47.5. So you can see that 47.5 divided by 100 is equal to 47.5%. And so that would then be the solution to the second part of the problem. The total percent discount is 47.5%, which is $19 out of a $40, so almost half off when you apply the final coupon. And that's how you solve a problem like that.